Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about handling the mental toll of being a divine feminine and doing it solo. This is so hard on so many women, and frankly, it's the majority of us. There's a lot of women who identify as a divine feminine, and yet you're going solo, and it takes a real mental toll. This comes up frequently in my webinars, and thank goodness we have a group setting because there is group support. But it's not the same when your body is crying out for touch or, you know, just the real kind of companionship that you know is possible because here's the thing. You really start to feel and sense the things that you remember through your journey about how it's supposed to be. It's like an inner craving and yet this can take a real mental toll and it really comes in when there's like a big decision to make such as should I move, should I not move, um, what to do about your children, financial decisions. Now, it is true that many women are not socialized to really think or even deal with that kind of stuff. Many women have been limited or restricted on those things. They, you know, it's only been recently in 100 years. We can vote. We can have property. But this actually goes way beyond that. And when you don't have a partner, what do you do? So this mental toll is a real thing. It can lead to depression. It can make people feel very melancholy or morose. And if you add to that some of the hormonal changes that women are going through in terms of helping them to balance, uh, many, many women are going through what can be called early perimenopause, except it's not. It's ascension. It's a part of the ascension cycles, and I know it well because I've been coaching people through it for 15 years, including myself. All of the ups and downs and writing the roller coaster, feeling like you just want a hug, feeling like you're ready to reach out to anybody just to have some kind of support. So what do you do when this journey begins to take that mental toll on yourself? Well, I do want to let you know that when you are integrating your light body, and that is a specific sequence of things that happens, there's a way to do it. That is what actually balances masculine and feminine. Now, this is frequently when people would say to themselves, I don't really need a partner. I'm doing this alone. I'm going this alone. I'm strong. I can do this. Doesn't feel like I need anyone. That's the balance. But here's the kicker. The desire returns because the mental toll starts to diminish the energy and the light body begins to vibrate and bring the person into the mode of it's not so bad. Uh, you don't necessarily feel alone. You can be confident and feel very comfortable with yourself. The desire comes in because it's not just having a partner about those things, not just having a partner who takes care of financial things, for example, or having a partner that leads you to do the dishes while they take care of something else. They go change the oil on the car, you do this. Now, that is the way that karmic relationships are. It tends to flop into different roles and things like that. You're breaking all the molds on this. How do we handle the mental toll? Well, first of all, it's not by handling and it's not by old coping mechanisms. It's not by going out and getting drunk or drugged or anything like that. I've talked to many people throughout the years. People have children with karmic partners and then they're left with them. People have, you know, other situations such as financial debt. Your soul is looking out for you. And that means that as you do this integration, those people fall by the wayside. They're not even a blip on your radar. So it's not taking a mental toll on you. And so this thing starts to move along like that where those people aren't there, your mental energy, your mental emotional energy all starts to do better. You feel more balanced. You feel more elevated. Good things are happening for you. You're meeting the right kind of people. Those doors are opening all through integration of your body. So how do we handle it? We don't handle it. We integrate our light bodies. And while you might be a divine feminine, there is divine masculine energy, not only to be called upon or called in, it has to elevate within you and click. It literally has to merge and become an integral part of you. And some of it is yours and some of it is your partner's, no matter what gender body they're in, no matter who they are, if you have not truly met them yet, or even if you thought you met them, but somehow you're not being supported. You can pull that energy in of that other person because there is 
an exact man connected to you. There's no stupidity about this because we have set this up right from the get-go for this to be successful. Where people get hung up is where they're trying to handle it in the same old ways. The same old, same old is just insanity. It's doing the same things, expecting the results to be different, and they won't be different. They'll be the same crappy results. So if you want something different, please remember this is what we do. We know ascension, we know twin flames, we know the journey, we know the cycles, we know what works and we know what doesn't work. The other thing to mention is I have practitioner course where I've been teaching people. It's time to get to know our practitioners too. There's not just me, there are several practitioners ready to help who have also been through it and they've had at least four to five years of really slogging through the mud and getting what it takes to elevate, do this, ascend, and match up. I hope this video has helped you. You're not intended to be alone forever. And so if you find yourself getting to that resignation point, I want you to be encouraged that there are things you can do. Things that we do right within my webinars. I do a three-part webinar on purpose because that is there to help people boop, boop, boop. Okay, in three steps by that next segment, they're in a different space than they started off in. And that's designed that way on purpose. So if you're doing the same old things like pulling a card, it might be time to graduate. After all, it is graduation season. So reach out, please like, subscribe, uh, recommend my videos, throw out some questions for me, or check out my website. All the links are below. Thank you so much. Have a great day.